Hey guys, GlycerFan44 here today, coming back at you with another video today. And for those of you who are new to the channel, if you don't know who I am, my name is GlycerFan44, and I create food content. I also am thinking of expanding to other genres for my content, but that's still a debate. And the reason why I, I do content creating is because I love making videos. I love doing things that I see other people doing that I think is fun. The reason why this channel has been, the reason why I've been continuing is because I love all the support I get from people close to me in real life and from people on the internet watching my videos. And basically this channel is a food channel. This channel wasn't really supposed to be a food channel. When I first started this channel, I wanted it to be a Pokemon channel of me playing Pokemon games and me, um, I don't know, like making Pokemon videos. That's why, it, that's how, that's how I got the name Glissor Fan 44 because I, my favorite Pokemon was Glissor and I was such a big fan of Glissor and I, that's why I made my YouTube channel in 2017 called Glissor Fan 44. Originally, this channel was supposed to be for vlogs as well, also me doing, um, trendy videos but then like later i used to vlog a lot when i was like in middle school and then i got tired of vlogging when i entered in freshman of high school and i was like what am i gonna do what am i gonna do to actually like enjoy the videos i'm putting out so basically there was this one time i watched this youtuber named dame drops he's one of the first you food youtubers i've watched and he has inspired me. He inspired me in late 2019 to create a food channel. And then I was prepping so all the places I was going to eat, all the places I was going to do videos at in 2020. And after that COVID hit, everything turned upside down. I went through so much downs with pe with me. I went through so much downs in my personality, almost lost people close to me and all that stuff. And basically in 20 in 2020 during the height of the pandemic I did a little bit of food reviews as you saw I went to in and out and did a 100 and I did a 100 subscriber special I also went to I also did like I also reviewed fast food like from Curls Jr, Sam's Club, Costco and a lot of those videos were getting views people close to me were saying oh I saw your YouTube channel I didn't know that Costco had this or Costco had that. And I didn't know how it tasted like until I saw your video. And they were like saying that I should continue with my food YouTube channel. And I was actually proudly continuing with continuing with it. But except the thing is on my head, I was like, I want to do something more than just create food content. And that's when I started a channel called Glister Contest Man at the time. Because I used to play Marble Contest the Champions. And I wanted to be a big I wanted to be a content creator there because I had some ideas to different to different to like make my channel different from everyone else. And that's when I stopped. I still posted food vi videos while making Marble Contest the Champion videos. And then one time out when I was on Discord. I came across a couple of people who kind of bashed my channel saying it was bad and they were making fun of my videos, making meme of my videos. At that time, I cared so much to the point where I just stopped making food reviews and I was thinking of deleting my channel and everything. But then later, back in 2021, I made a couple food reviews because I got back my spirit and made a couple food reviews too. But I didn't like post it and I didn't like link it because I was just worried about people bullying me and worried about what people were saying. And then later in 2021, some other stuff happened too. I don't know what happened, but that was another point of me figuring out what I want to do in life. And it was the new chapters were coming soon and I had to figure out what's going to be going on in the future. And... Basically, I, that's why I stopped pushing to stop posting YouTube videos for video games and for my food channel. And then I took a big hiatus in the rest of 2021. I went through some stuff again. Um, and yeah, and then later in 2022, basically, after so much advice, people found me found my YouTube channel 
and they said that they love my videos, I should continue doing this, and all that stuff, because they really liked how I was, they really liked my food review videos, they really, really, like, loved it a lot, and basically, that's why I still continue to make food review videos to this day, so basically, I started towards the end of my senior year, I slowly started making food review videos, me, a couple of friends would take me out to places, one of my mom, one of my friend's moms are an is an entrepreneur, and basically one of her clients that she helped to create a business had like a small business where they made, where they like had like food for people who are vegan, and who are, is mainly targeted for vegan. And then basically that's when I picked up my spark of doing food reviews. And then for my 18th birthday, when I went to PF Chang's with my friends, I really enjoyed. I really like saw, I really felt like, hmm, maybe I should do a food review video on this. But that video never came out because all the, all the, how can I say it? All the files were scattered everywhere. So I never released that video. And then later I was like, hmm, maybe I should actually continue making food review videos and making some cooking videos and stuff. So that's what I said. I'm going to make, I'm going to do a food review video. I'm gonna make a cooking I'm gonna make a cooking channel, a food channel. And I actually did that. And basically, as people were doing that, people saw it and they're like, Man, I really like your content. And like a lot of people, like, they loved my content and stuff. And they were like, I don't know why you ever stopped this. This is your touch. And then basically I started continuing and, and continuing and growing over the summer of twenty twenty two a little bit. I got, I gained a little bit of subscribers. I stopped and I started. I was still lost in the food concept. I used to make long videos of me cooking food. And then later I discovered YouTube Shorts. I made a couple Shorts videos there. Some of them, a lot of them are popping. Some of them weren't popping because some of them were bad quality. And other stuff happened. And then like later in late 2022, when I entered in a new chapter of my life after graduating high school, I went to... Um, a adult school and then basically I was talking to a couple of friends on the internet um they said that I should do it I should if I want to continue if I want to grow my YouTube channel more and expand my audience I should go on TikTok and make a, and make a food chef and make an account dedicated to food on TikTok and that's what I did and I didn't and I never regretted it ever since like yeah I'm at 65 subscribers but I feel like I can get more and more and more if I actually keep on posting more. And I am posting more on TikTok and on YouTube. Like, I try to do TikTok exclusive videos. I try to do YouTube exclusive videos, too. I don't try to just, um... I mean, I, I do copy... I do, like, when I post content on TikTok and YouTube, I post it on both sites, but... I am trying to dabble into doing TikTok exclusive videos and YouTube exclusive videos. Like, there's some videos I've posted on TikTok that I haven't posted on YouTube. Like, for instance, the Ding Tai Fung video or whatever that video is called. I posted it on TikTok, but I haven't made, like, a YouTube version of it. Because the reason why I haven't made a YouTube version of it is because the... Because, like, I don't know how I'm gonna, like, put it all together on YouTube. But on TikTok, I put it all together somehow, and I'm thinking of just doing something like that. But basically, getting back to what I was saying about, like, all that, all those content on YouTube and TikTok, like, really, this food channel kind of changed my life. Because before, when I was, before, like, I just felt a lot down about myself. I was just a very crazy negative person. I was just very lost and all that stuff. And then, like, later when I started this channel... It just changed my life for the better. Like, I just felt like I had something to be proud of. I felt like I had a legacy to build and all that stuff. And, like, I just want to say thank you for everyone. No matter if you're friends, family, um, teachers, or whatever. Thank you guys for encouraging me to continue. Yes, I know I, I've made a couple mistakes here and there. Not just on my videos, but in real life. But thank you guys for actually still supporting and still supporting my journey and all that stuff. Like, I really appreciate it. You guys keep on, you guys keep me going. You guys bring me up. And I hope if you guys are, I hope for anyone who's new to this channel, 
please subscribe to this channel because the thing is that the videos I'm gonna I make here are food reviews, cooking videos, and I also do food hot takes as well. Um, technically, food reviews are not all I want to expand to. I want to expand to other topics too because I I do have other I do have other things I like like wrestling video games but not as much now but mainly wrestling so i'm thinking maybe so i'm thinking maybe like if you're a wrestling fan then maybe i may start making some wrestling content on this channel or i may make a new channel to make wrestling content now anyways thank you guys for clicking on this channel i hope you enjoy the videos i'm gonna be posting like and subscribe and also turn on those notifications too and also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Instagram is going to be where you can also get a notification when a new video comes out. Um, some exclusive videos are going to be on Instagram too. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. That's, most of my exclusive videos are also going to be on Instagram as well. So I recommend going on Instagram and watching some of my exclusive videos too. Because like, not everything is going to be posted on YouTube and TikTok. Some of them will be like dedicated to instagram so that's why i recommend following all the links you see on my channel page anyways i'll see you guys in the next video so make sure to like and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next content